Hey guys, I'm back again with another video, and today I got a new pet. So I am super excited to show you this new pet. He's not big, um, and super easy to take care of, and I'm really, really excited. So I'm going to have this video into a few parts. I don't know if it's going to be two parts, three parts, maybe even five parts, because it's going to be really long, and I do not want to edit this. I want it to be a whole video so you can see everything that I'm doing. So just to be prepared without editing, I got this live moss. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you what animal this is. So I got a tree frog. So guys, first of all, comment down below on what you want me to name this tree frog. And in this little bowl is the frog moss. So I'm just letting that soak so I didn't have to edit the video. So I started that. And guys, these are all new products or new items. I'm not reusing any of these brand new. I just got them. But I did wash um, the wood that I just bought. And yeah, so let's just get started. I opened the terrarium also just to make sure I knew what I was doing before this. So I didn't have to sit here and figure it out. So this is the terrarium that I got. It is specifically for frogs, as you can see right here. Um, tree frogs. What's inside? A plastic terrarium. Light fixture with 5 watt bulb, perfect thermometer, hyd hydro hydrometer, and a water dish. Um, so super excited about that. This is a 3.3 gallon. Just for now, I might upgrade to a bigger one. I'm going to show you everything. I got crickets for him, 18 crickets right here. I got the cricket holder. I got another feeding dish. I washed, this is a brand new um, plastic plant, but I did rinse it out. I got a backdrop for this, little like $2 backdrop. And then I got this um, substrate, but this is gonna go under the moss because I do not want the substrate to hurt the frog whatsoever. So I got the frog moss already. And then of course I got the whole terrarium over here. So yeah, so let's get started. So, like I said, this is, is going to be parts video, so if I end it at a random time, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so, sorry, I'm just trying to get situated here. So, I'm going to remove the top of this tank. If I can get it open. Oh, it has like a little lock, so each side has a little lock. Um, So, in here, so just open this up really quick. I'm trying to... Make this a quicker video. Here's the light right there. I'm trying to make this a little bit quicker video, so I don't have to have that many parts. Hydrometer, thermometer, all different parts right here. We're just gonna um, stick these on the back of our terrarium here really quick, so just give me a second to do that. Yeah, guys, I got really bored today and I worked yesterday and today, I believe it was yesterday. Um, but anyway, no, it was like two days ago and today. Anyway, um, I made enough money and I decided to go um, get this little frog. So yeah, guys, I'm super excited to share this with you. And I hope you really like this video. And I was super excited to make a video because I haven't gotten a new pet or fish or anything like that in a while. So I'm super excited. Um, and the frog was only $10, so if you guys want a tree frog, pick one up because they are really cheap. Um, I was going to get a poison dart frog, but they I could only find one store that had them, and they weren't the full size. They were the mini ones, and they weren't going to get any bigger, and they were $100 for ones that were about that small. I was going to get him, but then I decided not to because I could get a tree frog for bigger and I wanted a tree frog for sure. So I've been soaking this moss for a little while now. So I'm about to put that in there. But first, I'm going to put the bedding in there. Okay. So I'm gonna open. that moss doesn't smell the best either, guys. So. So this is already has a lot of moisture in here, so that's good. But obviously we're gonna put a lot more moisture in there. And the only reason why I did not get a spray bottle is because I already have a spray bottle. So that is the only reason I did not get a spray bottle. 
to moisturize the um, tank. And I'm doing this on my bed, mind you, so I don't really want to get this everywhere. So I'm going to try to be cautious. So I'm just spreading this around. I don't know how thick I want this yet. So just give me a minute here. Like I said, I'm not editing, editing this video at all. Because I want you to see all the steps. And a lot of people edit the video when they mess up. But that's okay. I'm just going to um, go through with one whole um, thing without editing. Okay, that should be enough for now. And if you want to add a more substrate later, then that's perfectly fine. But for now, that should be enough for me. So right now I'm just evening this out. And then we're going to take, I have the moss right here. Squeeze it out a little bit, but you really want to keep a lot of moisture in there so that is what it looks like i'm going to put it on the bottom of this tank so try to get um enough moss to cover the whole bottom of your tank but if you can't that's okay make sure you get different substrate for the rest of the tank then but it would be great if you could get enough moss for the whole bottom of your tank or actually i should say terrarium So yeah guys, I'm gonna do another part of this video. Um, I'm gonna put finish putting the moss in and then I'm gonna do another part of this video because I can't let the video be too long because I'm not editing it. So it will take a very long time to upload. So yeah guys, I just finished putting the moss in there and I'm going to do another video. So stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna do it right now, but this is part one. And like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.